Good morning, it's Thursday and we're continuing uh, through 1 Samuel, we're in the last two chapters and uh, very dramatic chapters they are. So David has been sent away from the battle by the Philistine commanders, he returns to his town of Ziglag only to find that it's been raided by the Amalekites. They've uh, burnt the town, taken all the wives, uh, all the flocks and all the uh, possessions that David and his uh, crew had built up over the years. Now David's men are not happy at this and they're at the point of stoning David uh, for his decisions. He could have left some uh, men behind to protect the town. Um, he didn't have to go and fight uh, with the Philistines so he is the centre of their wrath. But what does David do? Uh, he weeps, he mourns for his loss. But in verse 6, towards the end, it says, David found strength in the Lord his God. So that, is this the point where David turns back to God after living with the Philistines for a year or so? It's his lowest point. He's uh, lost everything he's built up. He's away from the battle where he could help Israel. And uh, he's he's at his end, I guess. He's at his lowest point. He needs something, and he turns to God. He finds strength. Um, he then consults um, with the priest to find out what he should do. Should he go and pursue the Amalekites? And he's given the priest's blessing to do that. So he goes out and does it and uh, recaptures all his uh, lost goods and more besides because they've been raiding elsewhere as well. But what does he do when he returns? Some of his men were too exhausted to join uh, the pursuit of the Philistines and there is a further rebellion. No, don't give them anything. They didn't do anything so they don't get a share of the plunder. But no, David said, if you look after the uh, supplies you're as entitled to the plunder as if you've been in the battle so um, he shows good leadership at that point and then he sends uh, the plunder that the Amalekites had built up back to towns in Judah so a very shrewd thing there he's uh, helping himself to uh, secure favor with the people in Judah for his future role as king of Judah. So David's leadership qualities come out strongly in this chapter, chapter 30, uh, out of uh, defeat and desperation, he turns to God and turns the situation round for his good, but for the good of others uh, in his group and in Israel. Chapter 31 uh, recounts the battle and the Philistines rout the Israelites. Um, Saul's three sons are killed in the battle and Saul is wounded. And Saul doesn't want to uh, be captured as wounded person because he'll then get tortured and dragged around and mutilated. So he asks his uh, armour bearer to kill him but that person won't. So Saul commits suicide. I think it's the first suicide recorded in the Bible. And he dies unrepentant. He dies a very sad death, a death that I guess he didn't anticipate when he became king. It's not how he would have liked his reign as the first king of Israel to end. But that's what happens. So what can we learn from this? Well, I guess the key point for me is the way David turned to God and renewed his strength. We are living in challenging times. and I guess all of us have high points during this uh, COVID season and low points. And I'd encourage you in your low points not to wallow in self-pity, but to turn to God, to meditate on his word, to draw encouragement from other people that are uh, followers of Jesus and um, help.
help yourself draw on God's strength and come through your lowest point. And that's our, the end to our look at 1 Samuel. We're going to join Psalm 118 tomorrow. A switch into Psalms uh, for the next few weeks. So uh, look forward to seeing you on Friday and Psalm 118. Thanks. <laughs>